Welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. I want to remind you again, we're all over social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, our official website is stephennightshow.com. Go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. We definitely appreciate you. All right, there's a new TikTok challenge that, you know, there's always a challenge going on. We see it all the time. But this one has schools and teachers on high alert. It's called Smack a, Slap a Teacher uh, Challenge. Now, it's supposed to come out and start in November, but apparently there's always been some cases of it happening, I believe in North Carolina and uh, another school um, in Missouri where they slapped a uh, elementary teacher that was in South Carolina in the back of the head. And then the other one, they slapped it. You're supposed to slap the teacher and then uh, post it on TikTok. TikTok says that that will be in violation of their policy. And if they ever saw anything like that, they would have you know, aggressively take it down. But again, we're seeing these things happen. So um, what can happen to a student if they do this, they can be suspended, they should be expelled for up to a year um, from school. But um, um, it's just crazy, man. We're just thinking about it. They can be expelled from school, but these students are starting to do these trends for the popularity. Um, <laughs> Linnea, I mean, what is going on with these kids? You know, the internet is a gift and a curse. And the internet <laughs> has given people the ability to do the dumbest sugar honey iced tea in search of attention. Mm -hmm. um, and it's amazing that TikTok is saying they'll aggressively, you know, shut it down. The only thing that they've been doing aggressively is blocking black content creators. Yeah. That's the only thing that they've been doing aggressively. That part. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't believe TikTok. I'm not even on TikTok, so I can give two craps about it. But, you know, as, as we move along, the only way that these things can go viral is once it goes up, is up. Because then everybody and their mama share it. So you mm -hmm. aggressively going after it means what? once it's posted and it's shared thousands and billions of times. That means absolutely nothing. How mm -hmm. about you stop blocking black content creators? Thank you, this has been my TED Talk. <laughs> Chike, what are your thoughts on this? Slap by I, I know one teacher, her name is Devon Rangia Evans. You can try her oh, if Lord. you want to. Oh Lord, You can Jesus. try her if you want to, TikTok. That means we are gonna need bail money. Oh, and you also, and you know, and you know, the teacher is not allowed to retaliate. Like, oh, they can try Ms. Evans. They can try Ms. To. Evans if they want to. Not um, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm here to tell you, and and I, I'm sure that some of these TikTokers already know. Some of your teachers is with the ish. Some of yeah. your teachers is with it. So you can try it if you want to. They'll catch a case for you. Trust me. Mm -hmm. Trust me. They will. Go to school. Get your education. Stop playing into all these fads. Maybe you come up with a new dance routine to put on your TikTok, but this, this isn't it. Leave it alone. Yeah, yeah. Nina, give me thoughts. Sorry, I was, I was sitting here trying to gather my thoughts. Right. I got kids. <laughs> yeah. And I wish one of my, I don't even wish it because I'm going to go meet my mama who was gone. Mm -hmm. Because we all going down in a blaze of glory. I'm going to whoop your ass. If I catch right. you in attempting to concoct the scheme to slap an adult for a challenge, I challenge you to challenge, if I will, mm, murder right. you. <laughs> and then go down in a blaze of glory because you ain't going to arrest me. You're not. Nobody's getting away with this. And then these kids, like Lania said, it's, it's, it's it's a, it's an adventure for attention. It's like, please pay me some attention. Please validate mm. me in this mm. way. Please make me feel important. Mm. Please make my existence matter. Your existence matter because you came out of the womb of your mama and she could have died while bringing life to you. Your existence is far beyond somebody's TikTok only TikTok you need to worry about is the sound of the goddamn clock above your teacher's head when you get your ass out of their class at the end of the period. That's the only TikTok right. sound you need to be worried about. Not worrying about whether you're going to smack somebody to get some attention. Mm. I couldn't be a teacher. God knew 
My merciful Allah, my creator knew not to put the burden of teacher on me because if I, I was these teachers I will be with a belt on my shoulder buckled so nicely so that when I whip it off <laughs> and I beat your kid I'm gonna wait for you outside on the set I'm gonna wait for you on the pickup line it's that little line I got kids we, I sit in the line I sit in the pickup line you wait for the, the, the parent to come around I'm gonna stand there and I'm gonna wait I'm gonna put a sign on my chest I'm waiting for you Miss yeah. Johnson your son hit me today I'm waiting with the belt they need to stop it. And yeah. TikTok, it's like control. Said, TikTok, this is, this is, it's, it's, this is, oh, TikTok draws me insane. I almost threw my kids' <laughs> phones out the window one day because they were in the car and I, and, and they, they make the sounds of their phones together. I call it tinker, tinker, binker, binker, because that's all I hear when they mm -hmm. both are on these phones at the same time watching simultaneous TikTok videos. And they drove mm -hmm. me nuts one day so bad that I turned the radio down. I was like, if I hear one more TikTok video, I'm gonna throw both mm -hmm. your phones out the window. They were like, it's mm -hmm. it's like a drug. Yeah, it is. It's mm -hmm. a, yeah. And Let's go to this story. So tell me who was who is wrong here. All right. So there's there was this photographer who he was hired to um, you know, to to shoot this wedding. And he ended up deleting all of the pictures in front of the groom at the wedding because they refused to feed him. Now, he tells the backstory is he was actually not a photographer. He is a dog groomer, but he always has taken pictures of the dogs and posted them on social media. So one of his friends told him, you should consider being a uh, wedding photographer. And so he was like, yeah, make some extra money. So he agreed to do this wedding from seven, I'm sorry, from 11 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. for $250. Now, this is in India, apparently. And so around five o'clock, the food is being served. And he was told he couldn't stop eating. I mean, he couldn't stop uh, working to, to eat. Um, and they didn't save him a spot at the table or anything. And he said it was really hot in there. So he asked the groom, can I take a 20 minute break and so I can cool off and eat? And he said, no, you need to uh, do your job. And he said, you can either... He said, you either can do that or you can leave with no pay. So the photographer deleted all the pictures right then on the spot. Now, they said that friends and family have been asking, where are these pictures at from the wedding? We want to see them. But obviously, there's nothing to show. Do you think, I'll ask you first, Nina, do you think that he was wrong for that? Or do you think the couple was wrong for not feeding him? Now, we all know that plates are expensive, ah! all that. So what do you think? First of all, he gets the crown for King Petty. The, the crown for King Petty yeah. goes to this photographer. Mm -hmm. He is King Petty for that. Yeah. However, that's somebody's day that they cannot repeat. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we got to take the higher road. Now, what he could have done, he could have kept the pictures and held them until they paid him. That way he still can get his money. He gotta think about your coins at the end of the day. Bro, you ain't got no pictures now. So what, did, what work did you perform? You don't have proof of your work. So even if there was some sort of litigation, you now have no proof of the work or the service that you mm. performed. So how are you going to now try to collect funds because you don't even have evidence of your work? The couple was wrong as well. Um, I think there should have been a way somehow to work in him being able to at least eat something or say, hey, we packed you a, a plate or something that you can have once you're done. Um, here's a bottle of water. It's really hot. You, it, it's a give and a take because first of all, wedding photographers cost thousands of dollars, a thousand at minimum for somebody on the lower scale. And for that amount of hours, that's at least a $2,000 job. And all he, had, all he was getting paid was two fifty. So he was underpaid, overworked, starved. <laughs> this is not a sweatshop. Get that man some damn water. And make them a plate and make them feel good. If you want your pictures, like they went, they, their petty went too far. So he said, I'm Emperor Petty and I'm <laughs> going to trump you one and I'm going to delete everything. Now you better remember it in your dreams because you're not getting nothing out of me. So they both were wrong. 
he should have kept his bargaining chip. That's my opinion. He should have kept his bargaining chip so he could at least, because now he's right hungry. You a dog walker, feeder, whatever you are, you don't get paid a lot of money and they can't buy no groceries. Y'all, I'm mad, the couple mad, they ain't got no pictures, you ain't got no food. Everybody leave. Linnea, what are your thoughts on this? <laughs> um, I think it's a case for Judge Judy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and at this particular juncture, I, first of all, we you say you get what you pay for. You pay two fifty, and and of him for him to work from eleven to seven thirty, and y'all not feed him. So both parties are wrong. And um, yeah, so he can go back to taking pictures of dogs who ain't <laughs> nobody ever going to put him for a wedding again. And they can live on in their memories of not having pictures of their wedding. And everybody is just upset. Right. Chica. Uh I'm gonna say everybody's I'm gonna wrong. Send out an email <laughs> say if anybody took pictures at the wedding, please forward this email address. Right. I'm gonna say that Chica. everybody's wrong, uh simply because uh it doesn't sound like that there was a contract. And if you're gonna do some type of business, you should have a contract. And if there was a contract everybody's still wrong again because why would you why would you hire someone and not feed them i don't care how many plates like it's only decent that most people at weddings that are working get a plate that's just how it goes and at least anything that i've been to the people get a plate because they just get a plate um yeah everybody's wrong Mm -hmm. bad business all the way around 360 yeah our last story, uh, we're going to make it quick, but Linnea sent me this on Friday and we were cracking up about it. So there's a Missouri woman. She's asking for a million dollars from Geico after she participated in some adult activity and contracted an ST- STD from a man in the backseat of his car, which was covered by his insurance provider. Now, the Daily Mail reports that Geico has since filed a countersuit in a federal <laughs> court accusing the man and woman who have chosen to remain anonymous during the court proceedings uh, of co- uh, colluding uh, in order to come up with a massive payday. Now, the insurance company is now challenging the pair's uh, court-given right to stay anonymous in order to proceed with the case. The woman who is only referred to as MO in court documents uh, filed a liability suit against the popular agency after having unprotected sex with a man labeled MB in the backseat of his 2014 Hyundai Genesis back in 2017. As a result, the woman claims that she tested positive for HPV. The car is covered by the insurance policy in the man's name. At that point, the woman without Geico's knowledge entered the legal talks um, with the guy and reached an agreement um, in state court where they would receive $5.2 million. uh, And that's um, that she could collect, uh, if at all, only from Geico. The woman has since pursued the claim coverage uh, Geico for the tune of $1 million, which was disputed, and now she's threatening to sue for damages related to the 2018 diagnosis. The case has since escalated to federal matters. Now, the couple admits that they did, did not use protection when engaged in the intercourse, which uh, occurred across state lines in eastern Kansas. But the woman feels that Geico owns her compensa- owes her compensation due to the fact that the car was insured by the man's name. But Geico was asked in the case to be dismissed, citing that the man's car is insured for things that happen outside the vehicle, not inside the vehicle. Uh, the, the, now, the judge has yet to make a ruling on this case. The reason why they want to be anonymous is what they say is because the embarrassment could cause their kids and other family members or even mm. they could lose their job if this were to come out. I told Linnea, I, Linnea, I think I guarantee if not both of them, one of them are married to other people. So, Linnea, I'll let you take this one since you sent me this story. What, what are your thoughts on this? Girl, bye. Get out of here. What's wrong with you? This shouldn't even be a case that I'm mad that any and everybody can file a damn lawsuit uh-huh. for just frivolous stuff. Listen, listen, chick. Listen. You went across state lines to have hanky panky in the back of a 2014 Genesis <laughs> with most likely somebody else's husband. Uh, uh, and you just so happened to catch something? 
-hmm. in the process of you going across state lines and leaving your children to go have hanky panky in the back of a 2014 Genesis <laughs> and you catch something and you want to follow a lawsuit, I hope Geico, I hope they become, I hope Geico find out who them people is and they can't remain anonymous so all the whole world knows because this is ridiculous. <laughs> Chicken, what are your thoughts on this? Do they have a case? Listen, I want to know what lawyer that got their law degree from Sears online advised her <laughs> to go do this. Right. First of all, <laughs> that was a choice she made and it is true. Insurance coverage is for things that happen outside of the vehicle, not inside the vehicle. You made a choice, lady. You made a bad choice. Now you want Geico to pay for your mistake. I think you get what you deserve. And I hope Geico takes you to, to the cleaners. You know you will never be able to get insurance again when they find out what your name is. <laughs> like your, your name is trash in the insurance world. Nina, your thoughts? I'm just taking notes because I was like... Um... I was just trying to count how many pieces of bullshit there are in the story. I just wanted to write them all down one by one. So you got mm. HPV because you did the nasty in the back of a Genesis. Right. I, 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 just, I don't want to make sure that I'm I'm wrapping this up correctly. You got HPV because you did the nasty in the back of a, a Genesis across state lines. First of all, who has sex in a Genesis? <laughs> that is my first question. I know this is probably not the right first question I should ask, but I'm a little superficial at times. Just that. <laughs> I'm not giving nobody nothing. You can't even touch my shoulder in a Genesis. I'm petty. You're not even going to breathe on me in a Genesis. Sorry, fellas. If you drive a Genesis, you don't have a chance. And I'm not even that superficial because I actually want the new Kia Telluride. And I plan on being frisky with my significant other. You can make good cars Telluride. now, though. <laughs> Listen, I plan on being frisky in my new Telluride with my significant other. I'm just biased. I don't want to give you none of no Genesis. <laughs> Second of all, sue somebody? You want to sue. You should sue the person that gave it to you. Right. Not Geico. She did. She he sued him. put your life in danger because he was not aware of his status as it relates to sexually transmitted diseases. I do think they colluded. They colluded. They, they, their lives collided. They was bored. They wanted to go play in the back of the woods in a car. And now they're like, well, let's sue. You gave me some. I can't even imagine that conversation. Yo, you gave me something, and I, I don't appreciate this. Well, guess what? It was in the car, so maybe we should sue people. Go on and sue me. Go on and sue me then. Right. Lord have mercy. Well, listen, that's our time, y'all. Thank you case so much. Closed, for keep your legs closed, just like the case should be closed. Right, exactly. Nita, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us tonight. We definitely appreciate you. Uh, Chike, I will see you in movie reviews next segment. Lania, have a great yeah. week, and we'll be right back after this. Bye, y'all.